Welcome to Pins and Things. Today, I'm going to be showing you 13 different decorations for the best Harry Potter party ever. Let me know in the comments below which one of these is your very favorite. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. I've got new videos every Tuesday and Saturday. All right, so to make this one, we actually just took a little board and completely covered it in paint and put all the lettering on it and everything basically we just looked up a picture of it online and tried to recreate that the as best as possible then for this i just cut up an old sheet and used a sponge to paint each brick on i think that if you use one color of red it won't look so realistic so i think it's really good to add a little bit of brown and a little bit of red and like a couple different colors just to make sure that you get a little bit more variety like a real brick wall we've got it nailed in and now i'm about to cut a slit up the middle so that you can run through it just like platform nine and three quarters. I just gotta make sure that Dobby hasn't put a spell on platform nine and three quarters. Because <laughs> that would hurt really bad. <laughs> okay, are you ready? Ready? <laughs> Okay, so this is a picture of the singing lady from Harry Potter in the entrance to the dorms of Gryffindor. I've made sure to put a little password sign up here. Very easy to just make a word bubble. I just printed it off on regular paper and taped it up. Okay, this one is one of my very favorite ones. Have you seen this wizard? And then I put a little bit of cardboard with some paper attached onto that. This is sticky tacked on. So I just freehanded all of the parts up here over all of the black outlining. I just used a little bit of black paint. This is on top of our small hallway mirror with sticky tack. And this, if you look at this very side of it, is actually a thick poster board made with foam. It's easily detachable and that's why I like it. This decoration is super easy to do, and I'm whispering because I have a child taking a nap right now. All I did was take a little bit of sticky tack and put it on the back of all of these spiders, made them go in a trail that looks like they're leaving the house because they're going to their big Bertha of a spider mom. <laughs> <laughs> she love is that what it's called no <laughs> so this one's also very easy to make out of bounds to anyone who does not wish to die a most painful death and you know what's really ironic about this this is where the baby is sleeping right now so it's true <laughs> These simple signs are probably my favorite just because they're a really good, easy decoration. So watch your step, the stairs change. Again, I've just written it out, printed it off, and taped it in the place where it applies. And don't you see these free invisibility cloaks? So for this one, I just printed off something that says Green God's Bank, and we have tons of chocolate gold coins. Oh! <laughs> so this chocolate part would be my absolute favorite part of the party, except for I don't eat sugar. But it would be. And it comes in super handy when you run into a <gasps> Dementor! Oh. So I made this Dementor in another video on my channel here. <sighs> it, touched, and it actually creeped me out. If you want to see the details on how to make this, go check that out. The link will be in the description below. But it turned out amazing! And it's the perfect decoration that you're going to need for your Harry Potter party. Another must-have for a Harry Potter party is floating candles over the feast. We painted the dark night sky, and then we made sure to add all of these hanging candles at different lengths that are actually light up and have so much detail, they actually look real. Check out the full tutorial here. I will have a link below. Enemies of the air, beware. This one I just wrote with a little bit of red lipstick. Don't know how easy it's gonna come off, but. <laughs> I really like that it's behind the door so that if somebody comes in, they won't necessarily notice it right at first, but then if they sit down, they're gonna notice it. <laughs> Last but not least, we cannot forget 
all of your Harry Potter acceptance letters coming out of your chimney and through the fireplace. So we printed off the front and the back opposite each other so we can fold it in half and then string the string through, adds a little bit of tape, some glue stick, and tack them to the ceiling with some fishing string. We put a whole bunch near the bottom where it would be coming out of the fireplace and then made it a little bit more random coming up towards the ceiling. I think it turned out amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. A link will be in the description below to show how to make the Dementor and the Great Hall candles. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also subscribe if you haven't yet. If you click over here, you can watch me on the beach house, which is where I have some behind the scenes of making these things. And if you click over here, you can watch some more Harry Potter tutorials. Okay, we'll see you guys next time. Okay, I'm going to the bathroom. Bye! <sighs>